I've got the wonderful Thomas on the line from Envy ahead of their first matchup here at Flashpoint 2. Thomas, thank you so much for taking the time to come and chat with me. How are you feeling uh, to be attending you know, your first Flashpoint season? Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, fun, hopefully. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see uh, this new MV uh, taking shape and really, you know, taking to the server here at Flashpoint as well. And I want to start off by talking about your journey into Team MV as well. When did you first get, you know, initially contacted by the team? How did it all come about? Um, so we just finished DreamHack Summer, I think, with um, Team Endpoint. We should have beat teams like Big, we beat Mad Lions, and I think that we would have got quite further, but we just failed to win or like close out a couple of games. But um, I think during the year, I've had a pretty good year with the Endpoint guys, and they're, they're doing smashing at the moment. So yeah, I think it just came from there. And they were looking for somebody in Europe, and I fit their criteria. Yeah, when I was chatting with Nifty, he was saying uh, there seemed like quite an extensive interview process with you as well. They wanted to make sure that you were a right fit for the team, not just in terms of, you know, what you bring to the server, uh, but what you bring in as a person as well. Can you kind of talk me through that? What kind of questions were they asking? You know, they were talking about, like, my ambitions, uh, what I want to do, what I can bring to a team for atmosphere, um, tactical, and um, basically just being a more well-rounded player to be honest so it was quite easy for me to just speak openly with them about myself and my roles and my experiences yeah speaking of your roles as well i feel like you know you're quite well known uh for that style that you brought to endpoint as well you can be quite aggressive sometimes as a player and something we absolutely love to watch so how has that or has it evolved at all in team envy you still kind of uh given uh the room to be aggressive when you want to be is is there anything that you kind of changed as a player since joining the squad to be honest i don't think there's much which has been changed with my style I think I still have some freedoms and positions to make plays and open up the round to, you know, give my team a good opportunity. I think it's different in comparison to Endpoint because we kind of based our play style off a lot of our, a lot of my entries sometimes. And, you know, I don't have to do that as much in this team. But I now get more freedom to play more late rounds instead of early rounds, which is pretty cool. Oh, interesting. So what's the overall kind of dynamic of the team? Like you kind of mentioned about the play style slightly different there from Endpoint. But how has it been for you? Obviously, we, we know that you're not in a boot camp at the moment. You're playing from home. But what has it been like kind of just integrating to the team uh, with, with the personalities there? Yeah, um, I think personally, I've experienced dealing with like international teams before with the, uh, well, the now Godsent guys when I played with them in No Chance. Um, and I also had a small stint with the Windigo, Windigo guys. So I found it pretty easy to like jump in and, you know, just get myself seated in the team. I think that the team atmosphere is pretty good at the moment. So yeah, I'm, I think I slotted in pretty well. And what's the situation at the moment? I was just speaking to Nifty about it. He was saying that uh, Ligia is taking on sort of the primary in-game leading role. Nifty's kind of giving uh, his input uh, then and there when he kind of thinks it's needed. He's still sort of taking on that team captain role. So what is that like as a player to be playing under? Can you kind of walk me through the logistics uh, of what each, uh, you know, Nifty and Ligia are kind of bringing to the game? So Ligia, he's more of a micromanager. So he can micromanage around and this basically opens up opportunities for people like Noah or Nifty to be able to, you know, contribute towards the calls and be able to like change up the round if it needs to be changed. And I think that the dyna dynamic there is it's working really well with us at the moment. And hopefully like when we go in to the uh, Flashpoint, we will be able to show that. 
yeah and what's the practice regime kind of been like for you guys as well has it been something uh it's been quite strict what you're doing every day because obviously we haven't seen you guys uh, competing since you joined and before then you know we haven't seen team envy uh, actually taken to the server uh, since june i believe so what does that kind of look like day to day for you guys it's quite strange for me to join this team and not, not to have as many officials because my previous team and Endpoint, we were playing something ridiculous, like 165 HLTV matches um, like every three months. So it's like we're able to fix a lot of issues very fast and basically discuss. But I think a big disadvantage, which is also an advantage, is that people won't know what to expect from us when we play the officials. But we don't know also if our stuff's fully going to work in the actual match completely. So it's it's more of a coin toss, which I think is favored more towards us. Because I think I'm really confident in the guys to, you know, f fulfill their roles. And I think the, yeah, everyone's really good at changing up when they have to. So can you talk to me a little bit about uh, those roles you were saying? Where do the other guys kind of fit uh, into the pieces of this puzzle, if you will? What are they kind of bringing to the table? And how, how would you describe uh, this play style now? Now that we've seen, obviously, the former Envy. Uh, but what are you guys kind of doing differently to the Envy that we saw previously? I personally didn't see the previous Envious lineup. But I think they had a lot of uh, issues, uh, to say the least. I think they lack proper, um, what's the word, sort of teamwork, basically. Okay. I think they lacked a lot of teamwork. Uh, I think in this team, people have been able to buy, like buy into Cuban's ideology of the team. So we're all on a, a, a direction together. And I think that's what their last team lacked a lot. Uh, I don't know if that was because of like respect or somewhat. I don't know. I never spoke to their previous players but um yeah i think that this team has a lot more sort of teamwork um communications now a lot better from what i've been told and i think the whole direction of the team has pushed people's motivations so yeah i'm really excited yeah, I want to touch upon Cuban as well. Obviously, uh, another sort of new face coming to this roster, coming from VP over now uh, to Team Envy. And you were saying there, he's kind of bringing a vision. What What is that vision? How much impact does he have upon you guys? Uh, Cuban, he's fantastic because, you know, he's really all about the team atmosphere. Uh, not only the team atmos atmosphere, but the style of CS we are playing. So when he discusses the strategies, He's going to be talking to Nico and Nifty about, um, you know, the style he thinks, the style they think, and then making it together and building an actual solid system together. And I think it's really important to have a coach who dives into the sort of uh, strategy side of the game instead of only the team-based stuff. Mm. Because I think that's really important, especially in the like online era we're sat in at the moment. Because I think it, it's a lot harder for the players, especially in-game leaders, to actually uh, do all the work at the moment. Yeah, and let's sort of talk about your group as well, more specifically here at Flashpoint. Uh, I kind of just wanted to get your initial thoughts of the teams. What are you making uh, of the three other teams that you find in your group? I think fours are very beatable. Um, I think they're a very skilled team. Um, but when I played with my previous team with Endpoint, we beat them in several tournaments. Uh, we beat them on DreamHack Anaheim. Uh, I'm not really afraid f like from them. I think they went for a really good run towards last year where they got into like the top 10. But I think they've dropped off a lot recently. But I definitely think it's a good opportunity for us to take the first match. Um, it's big. I, I think big are a very beatable team as well. I think it's all about the style of play you have to play against these types of teams so big are very tactical team but if you're able to outmaneuver them and potentially mess up their strategies by maybe making like a kill or two before they can execute i think that will mess up like their entire game plan so i'm pretty confident versus a team like big as well and 
don't know the last team in our group. Uh, MIBR. Is it MIBR? Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know much of them, to be honest, because they're a brand new team. I saw they put up some really good performances in um, Blast, I think. Yeah. Uh, but I think they're all about being motivated with each other. I think if it starts getting tough with them, say if the game isn't going in their favor, I could see them really switching, going 180. I think they're very, uh, yeah, really hyped up team. Yeah. And if we can get under their skin, they're not going to be happy. Yeah, I love that approach. That's super interesting. I, I did want to pick up on Big a little bit more as well, obviously, because you've got uh, Ligia on your side now, obviously a former Big member as well. It's quite an interesting rivalry there. And I find it interesting that you say that you feel like they're a very beatable team. Is that because we've kind of seen them rise to the top and now they've sort of plateaued a little bit as a team? What are the main reasons you're looking at them and saying, you know what, they could potentially uh, be a team that we could overthrow? So... With the endpoint guys, we played them in DreamHack Summer and we should, in my opinion, have took the game. We threw like a really unfortunate couple of rounds during the during the match, which caused us to lose, which could have altered the whole direction of my career with them, I think. But um, I definitely think that they have a lot of weaknesses. It's just about, you know, jumping onto it and abusing those weaknesses because I think they've definitely got the skill they're definitely a top class team and if they turn up yeah it's gonna be a very hard game but yeah I think they also have their sort of slip-ups interesting so how do you view yourselves as kind of competition coming into flashpoint obviously you're a team uh, that we haven't actually seen debuting in an official matchup yet with this new lineup so how are you viewing yourselves uh, in terms of the, the caliber of the other competition we've been practicing a lot of uh, top teams so i i've been kind of the only way i can actually sort of calculate how good we are is by playing these teams in practice as bad as that sounds I think that we take a lot of uh, important stuff from those practices. So when the officials do come, I do believe that we now have a balance to where we'll be able to throw up certain stuff, throw in some strats, which we know will work. Um, and I also have some questionable ones, which may or may not work. But I think the biggest advantage for us, like I said previously, was we haven't played yet. So people won't know what we're playing, what maps we're playing. They won't know our style. And I think, you know, if it goes our way, it could be really good. Well, I'm very much excited to see you guys making your debut here at Flashpoint 2. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me, Thomas. And best of luck uh, for your matches. Thank you.